What's up? It's your boy Grizz from cyberstyles.com at Street Dance. I'm going to teach you how to do the fast 360. Uh, before you do this move, you might want to run through our other lessons on uh, just a normal 180 and a slow 360. Um, the big difference between this and a slow 360 is you got to jump to it. Um, that helps you speed it up and rotate quicker. So a slow 360 is basically uh, you stand normally, you're going to cross one foot behind you. You're always rotating in the same direction as your back foot. So in this case, I'm bringing my right foot back, so I'm turning right. If I try to turn left, I won't be able to because my legs are crossed, so they stop me. So you always turn in the same direction as your back foot. I'm going to rotate around, swing my shoulder. The, the momentum helps lead me. Then here, I step back out to complete the 360. So it's a turn, step. Again, turn, step from the front, turn, step, turn, step. Now, the only problem with that move is it's hard to do really fast. It's slick. Um, it's a cool move for any kind of slow tempo, but if you want to match a faster track or have a little bit more emphasis, more energy, uh, you got to add a jump to it to help you turn around more quickly. So for that, normally when we're doing the slow 360, we go to here, and then at this point, we step one foot around to complete the turn. Instead of that, we're going to start it the same way as normal for the fast 360, bring one foot back, turn, then here, instead of stepping this foot out to the side, we're going to jump and turn around complete, uh, 180 degrees. So it's step back, turn, jump. Again, step back, turn, jump. And fast. You're going to be able to do that a lot more quickly than you can the slow 360 because you don't have to kind of wait for momentum to drag you around. So again, from the front, fast. Uh, if you have trouble with the move, um, try just basically jumping in place just for the 180 degree turn. So you're going to start out looking the exact opposite direction that you uh, are looking right now. So stay normally. You're going to jump off your toes, lead with your shoulder. And to do the fast 360, we're going to do that motion, but we just lead into it by starting a turn with our feet. So we turn with our feet and then hop up in the air to turn 180 degrees. Again. So again, if you're having trouble, just try the 180 degree turns. And then once you feel comfortable with that, put that together with the 180 degree uh, flat turns on the ground instead of the jumps. Try to start out doing it just slowly, you know, just turn, jump turn, turn, jump turn, turn, jump turn. And as you get more and more comfortable with that movement, just try to go right from one to the other. And uh, if you feel like you're losing your balance on a little bit, when you step out at the end, make sure you step out straight to the side. You can catch your balance that way, even if you're a little bit off. And um, also throwing your arms out will help you recenter yourself. There's a lot of tricks that make this move easier. Uh, one thing, because you're doing it faster, it's a lot easier to get dizzy. So to prevent that, you can pick a spot right in front of you, right behind you. Try to look at that exact same spot every time you turn. And doing that is going to make you less dizzy, it's going to give you more control, and it's going to make your angles a lot cleaner. Uh, and it'll keep you from bumping into somebody. So try to remember that. Um, just like a normal spin, you always want to lead with your shoulder. So if I'm going left, my left shoulder 
is going to swing around and start giving me momentum to turn. So just like that. If you do feel like you're getting off balance, it's absolutely fine to step out to the side to catch yourself. So if I'm going around here, have a little too much momentum, I need to step out, catch myself, don't topple over. <laughs> um, you know, as I said, this isn't a movie you do all night. It's just something you throw in for variety. A uh, couple of other tricks you can remember. Uh, whichever foot is behind you, that's the direction you're going. So if my right foot is behind me, I'm turning right. If I want to turn left, I've got to make sure that my left foot is behind me, and that's the direction I'm going. Uh, you'll see if you try to go the other way, if you try to have your right foot behind you and turn left, it won't work. You'll just be tangled up. So whichever direction you want to go, make sure you step that foot behind you. And the only other thing I'd say if you're having trouble with this, just take it nice and slow. Try to go back to the 180 turns, the slow th 360 turns. And uh, if you're not getting the momentum right off the bat to do this, that's OK. Just practice the move. Practice stepping behind from here, jumping around. Do it nice and slow. At first, you won't have the momentum and the speed to flow right from one turn into the other. But as you practice it, as you get comfortable with it, you'll just be able to turn nice and quick. Um, and I think the only other tip that I would definitely try to remember with this move is to drill it. The hard part <laughs> is when you're looking in one direction and you're jumping up in a clean 360. So you can just drill that one part. Look forward, face a wall, cross one leg behind, and from here, jump back to facing the same way. And just practice that drill. Um, if you can do that, you can do fast 360s. We're going to do a nice, slow, half-speed count, and then we'll try it full speed to the music. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm going to show you the same thing from the back. Try to follow along with me. We're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right. If you're feeling comfortable, let's try the whole thing full speed. If you need a little more time, just run through the lesson again. Practice it nice and slow. And when you feel like you're ready, let's do the whole thing full speed.